Hello, and welcome to the next installment in our series of videos from Cancun, Mexico. Today, we are exploring the Mayan cenote, which is the biggest sinkhole yet discovered in the Yucatan Peninsula. What makes this cenote special, it gives visitors the opportunity to rappel down its 26 meter or 80 foot drop down to crystal clear waters, which we'll show you in this video. For those of you staying in the Cancun Hotel Zone, Cenote Maya Park is located approximately 200 kilometers west of the Hotel Zone, which is a two and a half hour drive. So this is what it looks like inside the cenote. As you can see, there are stairs. So if you don't want to rappel down the 26 meters, you can just simply walk down the stairs. A few notes I want to share with you about rappelling down. Some things that uh, we didn't know prior to booking and going on this excursion. But the waters of the cenote are deep. They are, they are quite deep actually. Uh, maybe 20, 30, 40 feet deep depending. I know there are excursions where you can actually go uh, scuba diving in these waters, but the waters are deep. So if you're planning to rappel down and you cannot swim or you're not that great of a swimmer, you need to take that into consideration. Because when you get to the bottom of the cenote, as you saw earlier in this video, you have to swim to the closest platform. Now they do have life jackets that they can give you and you can wear a life jacket as you rappel down. But it could be a bit awkward for some if you have to wear both a life jacket and the rappel harness. In addition, the waters are cold. 
it's a sinkhole. There's not much light. There's not much sunlight getting in there. So the waters are not as warm or warm at all compared to what you'll find in the ocean. They are cold. And adding to that, it's dark. It's very dark down there. In fact, we had to tinker with this video to try and increase the exposure so you can get a view of what it looks like in the cenote. But actually, the video you're looking at now, where you can sort of see the stairs and the platform, that's very dark. So if you're in the water looking at this, you're not going to have a, a, good, a good view of, of anything, really. But that's not to say there's nothing to do. They do have platforms and zip lines that you can jump off of and dive into the water. You can only repel down the cenote once. And once you're in the water again, be prepared to spend no more than 25 minutes, maybe 30 minutes at the max before your group has to vacate the cenote for the next group. They usually keep it one group at a time. But once outside the cenote, there's a gift shop, and whatever you purchase goes to support the local Mayan village. So we'll wrap up this video with some footage from the Mayan ceremonial area. Keep in mind, these cenotes are actually located within Mayan villages. They're run by the village, managed by the village, and um, Alternative does a great job of incorporating the village within their excursions. Now before you can enter a cenote, you have to be blessed by a Mayan priest. And as part of these excursions, there is a ceremony conducted by a Mayan priest where he appeases the gods and requests that they grant permission for you to enter the underworld and enter the cenote. That while you're in the cenote, no harm will befall you. And in general, in life, no harm will befall you, that you receive the blessings of the Mayan gods. Uh, it's quite a unique experience. Uh, it's, it's different compared to any excursion I've ever been on, but it was definitely a memorable experience. And I highly, highly encourage, if you're going to Cancun or this region of Mexico, that uh, you visit the cenote, you visit the Mayan villages, and you have a little sample, a little experience of what their lives are like. So that wraps up this video. We'll continue to do more from our trip to Mexico in the Cancun area. And uh, that will be it for now. Thank you guys.